All right, Michael, take it over. All right, thank you, Anissa. Good evening and welcome to the inaugural address of San Francisco's eighth Poet Laureate, Mr. Tongo Eisen Martin. Thank you all for being here for this very special occasion. I'm Michael Lambert, your city librarian, and I have the tremendous good fortune of partnering with our city's Poet Laureate and supporting his work through the San Francisco Public Library. I want to extend my sincere congratulations to Tongo on his appointment. But first, let me begin with a land acknowledgement. I want to welcome you to the unceded land of the Ohlone tribal people. We acknowledge the many Ramaytush Ohlone tribal groups and families as the rightful stewards of the lands on which we reside. The San Francisco Public Library is committed to uplifting the name of these lands and community members from these nations with whom we live together. And now it is my pleasure and distinct honor to introduce the Honorable Mayor London Breed who will begin tonight's program. Madam Mayor. Thank you so much, Michael. And I am really thrilled to join you all this evening to introduce our newest Poet Laureate for the City and County of San Francisco, Tongo Eisen Martin. As some of you may already know, Tongo's poetry is renowned for how it fights for racial justice, equity, and human rights. But what we, you may not know is his deep commitment to being a mentor, a role model for so many in our community. I've known Tongo since my days as the executive director at the African American Art and Culture Complex where he served as an instructor for literary arts. He taught young men and women how to find their voices, how to use the arts, especially poetry, to make those voices heard. He showed young people that it was possible to find success as a poet, a possibility that had never actually seemed real to some of them until they saw it personified in Tongo. I saw this with my own eyes, the impact that this had on young people, especially young men in our community in the Western edition. So while I know his achievements and accomplishments have been recognized around the world, I am most proud of all that he has accomplished right here in our shared hometown. Our arts and culture are a key part of our city. They are a cornerstone of our values of our diversity and inclusion bridging the gaps between cultures and bringing us together to understand and embrace our differences. That is why we have worked to backfill the projected loss in hotel tax revenue that was funding dedicated to arts and culture programs. We created an arts relief program of $2.75 million to support working artists and arts and cultural organizations financially impacted by COVID-19. And we launched a guarantee income pilot program that is centered in equity to provide 130 artists with basic income for up to six months. I'm so excited to see our arts and culture rise from this pandemic stronger than ever before and to show how our young people and children, to show our young people and children that being an artist is a critically important profession to show them that we are committed to supporting our artists because of how much they impact our communities in so many incredible, positive and uplifting ways. With that being said, I know we're all excited to welcome tonight's host for his inaugural address as our city's poet laureate. Everyone, it gives me so much pleasure to welcome Tongo Eisen Martin. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Mayor, and uh, everybody who everybody who who came. Uh, I'm 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 blown away uh, by the attendance here. Uh, I really, only barely feel worthy of it. Uh, first, I have to say, Micaiah Bryant. I have to say. Dante Wright, I have to say Sean Monterosa, I have to say Mumia Abu-Jamal, I have to say Leonard Peltier, I have to say Elaine Arkansas, 
I have to say Ursula Detention Center. I have to say that Ronald Reagan was the inauguration of a corporatocracy that had me frisked before I got out of elementary school. I have to promise you that this isn't a poem. I want love and peace. I have to say that I'm a revolutionary. I have to say, settle your quarrels. If you let me tell it, I was a pretty internal child with an eye for the parallels of the world while being reared by the easygoing radical hurricanes of the city. Warriors at rest, licking their wounds from a hard 60s and 70s fight with the system. Raised by park and rec directors, by deities of Bay Area hip hop, by functional dope addicts, by the suspended animation that was our pockets, tripwires laid between the blues and food, a good homeland for comedy. I was raised by collective memory, understanding that you can be the next Malcolm X if you let your neighbor live, understanding that ideologies are created by people as determined by their relationships to power or your set of beliefs match your relationship to power, understanding that at some point a cosmic reality seeps out of rundown people and to always look for poetry there. To be in this moment as San Francisco Poet Laureate is an honor and a haunting to see me and see these ghosts. is an honor and a plea that we reorient ourselves to a people's power. Make no mistake, we are in an epochal shift, a change in eras that is not even dressing down anymore. A lot of strange fruit in our breakfast bowls a lot of counter-revolution replayed every night and a death cult growing even more desensitized. You know, part of our brainwashing is how much they would have us romanticize and make an overinflated science out of the white power structure. In this society, all emphasis is on the development of the system and not the development of the people. Or should I say not the complex revolutionary development of the people, the system has all of these narratives, subplots, molecular life, bells and whistles, heroes and plot twists, raptures and reforms, has the richest character life of any stage play or movie you can imagine while the people are considered this super simplified mass of, of basic need and basic ambition. This inhibits us and stunts our humanization, making us feel like we are not the most crucial factor in the synthesis of all social reality. The objective of the ruling class turn us all into objects or the walking flatlined who only come to life or enjoy a feeling of aliveness when doing an activity, job function, even flexing a right that the ruling class prescribes, all of which furthers their power. So we get the effect that all of this reality is being produced in a galaxy far away and in galaxies more relevant than ours and our culture and our potentials to organize and creates a tendency to cower in the face of the historical moves the power structure makes, surrendering to what is presented as something that is not your human right to understand nor participate in. What poetry teaches us is that there is nothing, especially no whole pictures or greater social context that we cannot name for ourselves. And therefore, there is no bigger picture that we cannot transform. Stephen Biko said the most powerful weapon in the hand of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. And one of their most important psychological tools is to keep everyone selfish, keep everyone willing to suspend the humanity of others when necessary, keep everyone from experiencing the full range of their consciousness. We have to grow out of our individualism. I know individualism has even literally saved some of our lives, but we have to grow past it now. I know that joining in these ruling class agendas has saved some of our lives. I know we have found temporary dignity in their furious, furious hegemonic imagination and suffering these illusions of footing or some kind of uh, capitalism of color, history slowing down to the speed of our catchphrases about money and action uh, call me crazy but I, I don't I don't want any role in this imperialism. It's time to move on. We have to forgive ourselves and grow into 
or revolutionary consciousness. We have to synthesize a better ideology. The project of analysis is where we enter as human beings bent on reabsorbing our powers to determine our humanity and determine our reality. Take a step towards revolution. It might take two steps towards you. It's in this project where you will find me uh, with my little poems. <laughs> I wanted to make this inaugural address collective because when it comes down to it, uh, I cannot tell where I actually individually begin and end. I'm an extension of and extend into the words, hearts, spirits, and solidarities of these people who have shown up for me today, who have been showing up for me since the variety of cradles I've emerged from throughout my life. Steel doesn't have to sharpen steel. Sometimes it's a different matter. Sometimes it's just that steel reminds you that you are steel. You all are the definitions I've made a path out of. I could actually keep you all here all night <laughs> with dozens of people I, I would surely be nothing without. Uh, the people both here and watching from our various strongholds are my entire strength, are my revolutionary commitment and have provided me the architectures of thought that I make music with today. Before I bring them up, uh, I'm going to warm things up for them. <laughs> you know, um, societies wander together like hopeful drops of a virus. Citizen testaments bent on offering me a nation of breadwinners to hold me back like it's a brinks. I wrinkle the concrete sometimes like flesh, my Martin Luther King permanence turning away from a podium into the reeds like God is the dangerous twin. Black August to the mountaintop, balcony on my bedroom floor, you know, they steal you from the earth itself and suspend you and your broken neck from their foolish euphoria, from the loyalty oath of their gray superstitions, the loyalty oath of their gray reforms. I mean, I, I, I return to my mother completely disrespected. For peeling the heat off of purgatory, they kill poets like me. <laughs> Walk me away from my poems, never to be heard from again. In this final industrial complex of bloodlines picked over, picked through a sport and spiritual death of your devil at least half made, police become a pretty word. I'm reading a lynch mob shoestrings like they were tea leaves teaching you how to write about cities. It's the 25th century in the mirror, people. Tyranny against your chump chains, your chump to be mocked even with a gun in your car. Cubit of needlework, spell tune for the proletariat. The relapse ministry. Cubit of needlework with talented people curled up in a fetal position next to a diamond dying, just another service day in the theatrics of tea house fascism and a bouquet of surveillance cameras in the poverty of God. New blue eyes, corpses of water, newly potted presidency, or one big shiny coin if you ask an animated capitalism and other non-literal voids, killing his white freedom, the deification of hyphens, medicine bread and picture shows, great protesters in LA, guests of our ink, drop kicking roses in the graveyard, DC mink like a stone torn in half, the pen advances despite CIA guideposts, despite non-African past and futures, a metaphorical but not surreal day in a horn-ridden life, horn player improvising king. Like a radio prize fight featuring Shango himself, a real hand sweeps the, sweeps the land of racism. May I make progress with the gun may I return to the ground our mother Emmanuel you know they put on music that evening a swinging type body language for you to drink with your fermented five dollar bills for your body language some applause my past stomach line and neither a good thing nor a bad thing like like being psychic on the way to a lethal injection it'll sit you down with lady day lady day leading youth who surrendered their souls to Africa too soon Polity thought floating in the cup of water, she saved me, accessing my stomach, accessing the love of the American lynched. Coat sleeves wooden and avalanching to the wrist, our mother Emmanuel avalanching to the shark keys, pain. The deal you make with pain, you know, piano makes sense for them. Laying hands on the world gradually. Addressing the bend of necks on the streets of the north. Travelers sailing in pain, repeating pain in the north. Ten trigger fingers on that piano if harmony would have me. Hundred fights offered every direction. Lady Day, 
leaning on trees again, recruiting the countryside itself, saying, uh, lay, lay, lay your plan out on this lightning. Make your poems the corner pocket of men. I, I, I've greeted the blues itself. America may clean my dead body, but will never <laughs> include me. There goes the poet, <clears throat> killing without killing. Never mind this painting of your language. May, may I be a meaningful lynching, <laughs> a crow's passing, good and dead by the afternoon. I go to the railroad tracks and follow them to the station of my enemies. A cobalt tooth man pitches pennies at my mugshot negative all over the United States. There are toddlers in the rock. I see why everyone out here got in the big cosmic basket and why blood agreements mean a lot and why I get shot back at. <laughs> I understand the psycho spiritual refusal to write white history or take the glass freeway. White skin tattooed on my right forearm, ricochet sewers near where I collapsed into a rat infested manhood. My new existence is living graffiti in the kitchen with a lot of gun cylinders to hack up. House of God in part, no cops in part. My body brings down to Christmas. The new bullets pray over blankets made from the old bullets. Pray over the 28th hour's next beauty mark, extrajudicial Confederate statue restoration, the waistband before the next protest poster. Hey, by the way, Time is not an illusion, your honor. I will save your desk for less. You're witty, your honor. You're moving money again, your honor. It is only raining one thing, non-white cops. And prison guard shadows reminded me of spoiled milk floating on an oil spill in the neighborhood making a lot of fuss over its demise a new late for a Black Panther party. Malcolm X's ballroom jacket slung over my son's shoulder, the figment of village, a new noose to a new white preacher, all in an abstract painting of a president. They bought slavery some time, didn't it? The tantrum screeches of military boats and election Tuesday cars, a cold blooded study in leg irons, proof that some white people have actually found the nooses. The sundown couples made their vows of love over opaque peach plastic and boat action audiences. The Medgar Ever Second is definitely my favorite law of science. Found on news clippings and primitive Methodists, my arm changes imperialisms, simple policing versus structural frenzies, elementary school script versus even wider white spectrums, artless bleeding and the challenge of watching civilians thinking, terrible rituals they have around the corner. They let their elders beg for public mercy. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen these kids heads in the arrows myself and see how much gravy spills out of family crest, modern fans of war. Well, well, with their t-shirt poems and t-shirt guilt and me having on the cheapest pair of shoes on the bus, I have no choice but to read the city walls for signs of my life. You know, apparently too much of San Francisco was not there in the first place. You know, this dream requires more condemned Africans or put another way, state violence rises down or still life is just getting warmed up or army life is looking for a new church and ignored all other suggestions or folktale writers have not made up their minds as to who is going to be their friends. You know, this, this, this is the worst downtown yet. And I brought a cigarette everywhere. I, I, I've taken many a walk to the back of a bus that led on out the back of a storyteller's prison sentence, then on out the back of slave scars. But this is my comeback face. I left my watch on the public bathroom sink and took the toilet with me. Threw it at the first bus I saw, eating single mothers half alive. It flew through the bus line number and on out the front of the White House. And hopefully you find comfort downtown. But if not, we brought you enough cigarette filters to make a decent winter coat. A special species of handshake. Let's all know who's king and what's the lifespan of uniform cloth. This coffin needs to quit acting like those are birds singing. Rusty nails have no wings. Have no voice other than that of a white world dying their book pages in the gas pump. Catchy, isn't it? The way three nooses is the rule. Or the way potato sack masks go so well with radio calls or the way condemned Africans fought their way back to the ocean only to find ways made in 1920s burnt up piano parts, European backdoor deals and red flowers for widows who spent all day in the sun mumbling in San Francisco. Red flowers, but what's the color of a doctor visit? There are book titles in the streets, book titles like Hero, You'd Make a Better Zero, or Hey, Fur Coat Lady, The President is Dead, or Pay Me Back in Children, or they hung up their bodies in their own museums and other book titles pulled from a drum solo, Run Here, Hero, Lie at the Hiding Place, All the Bullets and 10 precincts know where to go. There's no heaven nor any other good idea in the sky. Politics means that people did it and people do it. Understand that when it's San Francisco and other places that that was never really there. I bet this ocean thinks it's an ocean, but it's not. It's just Sixth and Mission Street. All know who's king, king of thin things. You know, like America, I'm proud to deserve to die. I'm gonna eat my dinner extra slow tonight in this police state candy dispenser. You all call the neighborhood. No set of manners goes unpunished. Never mind a murderer's insomnia or the tea kettle preparing everyone for police sirens. You know, a lot of God can happen in three seconds. Not much heaven though. Here's a man before a fight. 
a leave me alone type character emerging from the penniless death of a one way street fiction. This is a fancy way of saying I'm going to make it even if I have to drive backwards. All I have is court changes and a thousand backhands driving the street like I'm choking it. Car full of nephews. It hasn't been the sun since November and it hasn't been a street I can't choke to death. This city better back down. You see this gun on the table and something about steering until it all feels stable. Why wouldn't I protect everyone on my desk? Sleep late. My son better be quick. My daughter better shoot first because we fall for no one. We fall for nothing. Okay, the first thing you'll feel is the heat. This lady would tell me, trying to tell me about possession. A drink life need is what I mostly hear. And most of the world leaves me alone to breathe small like a giant to go to jail every once in a while when the genocide kicks up in late May. When politicians have too easy a time, I'm gassing backwards out of one way street in honor of myself and in honor of you. If you understand the nature of the world, how long I've been just like my father when hell of a resemblance says the anxiety of the neighborhood. This is a crossroads or a crossroads narrative with so much crossroads. People get in the habit of turning back, turn back only to find themselves remembering me, but not my last words, a man before a fight to feel the heat. But there's nothing to keep in mind. There's nothing to remember. Really, there's nothing to be. It's just this moment, then another, then stare, then it all becomes stable, then the table lets go fuzzy and Friday's the unfamiliar face peeking through the window. It's cool to panic for a second. Composure is wasted on your worst enemies. People are marked on that sidewalk. You're the only thing life size. Everybody knows this in a wire hanger empire. When the blood stops walking, that feeling isn't father enough to be permission to fold. You better swing one more time. That father of yours rose from the grave and said, just give me five more minutes. He said, running water is a myth. It's us who are running up, down, and all alongside this water. And people don't rise from the grave. They're not laid down, neither. It's us who flip all around their bodies. So beware when the people around you all look like they about to jump. It might be your time. You'll feel the heat. And when four walls demand to be four walls and the earth outside mutes, don't panic. Don't try to recreate the earth outside. Don't tell jokes to yourself. Don't even talk disrespectfully to the four walls. Instead, unclench your fist and walk away. There might be heaven. if you understand the nature of the world. Right on. <laughs> Off goes one hat, on goes another. Um, the first, uh, the, the first uh, beautiful genius uh, who, who, is, who, who I brought um, is the leader of us all, um, savior of us all um you know and just ha, ha, has never not uh provided me with 100 love you know beyond family uh please give it up for mahogany brown wow t yo you said it best in the, the chat. This is your poet laureate of San Francisco. This is probably the smartest decision our country has ever made. San Francisco, lead the path, lead the way. Um, I wanna say something that I wrote for Tango's new book coming out because I believe this with my whole body, soul, my bone marrow. Not only is uh, the San Francisco poet laureate a title it's just a title unless you are willing to fight for people's freedom. And Tongo's poems are an archive of survival. They are a bridge. They do the profound work of serving an eclipse of literary measure, whether speaking rhyme and slant, calling forward Medgar Evers or with the spirituality of an oppressed people, Tongo offers stanza after stanza as a sunrise, as a new beginning, as a revolution in each of his poems all of his work leads us towards liberation. I am so honored to read um, next to him. Um, I'm so thankful that uh, Wash the Dead was published with Black Freighter Press. Um, and this poem I wrote, Tonga was one of the first persons I had uh, listened to it because he's, you know, he's the barometer. He's the barometer for, am I doing this right? If you have that person in your life, you know, give them their flowers and make sure that you send them good, good food or coffee. Uh, I was writing this piece years ago, years ago, months ago, COVID year is 10 years. So months ago in response to uh, the numbers of those we lost to police brutality. And at that point, I think it was maybe 13 months, maybe 14 and the number of victims of police brutality was 1,407. And by the time I printed the poem, 
it was 1,408. And so the name of this poem is 1,407 Ghosts All Speak to Number 45. He think he bad. He think he big and bad. He think he goon. He think he smirk and goon. He call us thugs. He call us everything but a child of God, a child of black sons, a child of black mothers, a child of Vaseline dipped faces, a child of knee on neck witnesses, a child of buried a baby with the bullet wound. He call us late for dinner and still call us everything but a child of who got next, a child of fire this time, a child of extinguisher for lunch, a child of fire next time, a child of turn the cheek, a child of half a stimulus check, a child of taxes cover his golf days, but we prayed, we prayed, we prayed with the sage stick. We turned three times in a circle. We cursed at the corner. We called the ghosts back from the yard. We called them back from the sewer. We called them back from the Hudson. We called them back from the river. We called them back from the swamp. We called them back from the bay. We called them back from the basement of the White House. They barely got to rest anyway, and we asked them for a favor. We asked them for resilience. We begged them for the heat and the hunger. We bring them glass and beheaded mannequins. The white foam party looked like a crucible. We stomped the concrete and the Soho streets turned coolie. We fist to the sky and the grass turned to ash. If you keep your eyes peeled to the horizon, it looks like the lynching coming home to roost. And look at him hiding in a bunker under a burning plantation, tweeting about who knows what, spell check cock like a dusty gun. That's a cheap trick. That's a NRA snitch. They a dying breed, but we can't call it. We slept on the porch. We pissed near the bushes. We walked three quarters around the promised grave. We call him back to his aunt. We call him back like the coward he is. He tells us, look, look, look at the spaceship. We tell him, nah, look at our fists, both boots on the ground, the ground vibrating a prayer. The mass is masked up and blood sick, the virus of his legacy in the air. But we won't leave until the massacre is finished. No, we won't leave until his skin peels from his scalp and falls into his hands until his role gain pain loses its luster and his children run from the flames. We ain't going nowhere. No, not even to pray for him, not even to his funeral. This country is boiling over. The children all wear baggy clothes and spit hip hop lyrics during lunch. They are godlike and beautiful and his stomach turns over with envy. We tell him, you lost the war, you lost the streets. You lost the cops, you lose and sleep. Who got next? Who got next? Who got next? Who got now? Who got never? We are an echo of every name that's died under the guise of law and order. Count backwards with me. Bring the ghost back from the yard. 1,407, 1,406, 1,405 since you've been in office. 1,404, 1,403. 1,402, since you reminded us what America was built on, 1,401, 1,400, where they protect a supermarket before they protect a black body, 1,399, the bones still slick on the side of your empty plate, 1,398, shaking and quaking to the anthem on one knee, 1,397. You got us mansplaining a revolution. You got us white splaining a movement. You want an action plan on how to be human, but we're not moving, we're not budging, not until each and every soul is accounted for, 1,396, 1,395. Not until each and every baby is accounted for, 1,394, 1,393. Not until each and every victim is acknowledged, their bail money returned, their family's account buckling over with reparations. We ain't going nowhere, Bunker Boy, 1,392, 1,391, 1,390, 1,389, 1,388, 1,387, 1,386, 1,385, 1,384. 1,383, 1,382, 1,381, 1,380. Thank you. Congratulations, Tango. Let's 
speech, speechless. Um, thank, thank you so much, Mahogany. Um, but before I, before I bring the next person on, um, just, just wanted to uh, send a, a special thank you to Janice Mirakatani, Devora Major, and Kim Shakur for in attendance. Um, former poet laureates who just gave so much and continue to give so much to to not just poetry but the 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 potentials and well being of of the people. Um, re really, the only the, the only light to follow. Um, but next, uh, uh, I, I wanted uh, I, I wanted the participation of uh, my my co-founder uh, of Black Freighter Press, um, co-founder and, and director. Um, sh she's the, the most special healer I, I've I've come across along the way. Um, she, she is, um, you know, she, she's just had a profound transformative effect, not, not only on, you know, you know, our, our work trying to put a, a, a people's press together, but just how I, you know, even spiritually carry myself or psychically carry myself. So one of, you know, one of, one of the beautiful ones that is here, uh, uh, please, um, Show love to Ali Jones. Wow, Tongo, you're trying to make me cry before I go. Um, thank you for having me here. Mo, I was over here screaming just now. Um, just really honored to be in this space and uh, share some words with y'all. Before I do that, though, I really just wanted to call us into a collective breath. Um, yeah, I feel like we've all been moving really fast. So just wherever you are, just take a deep breath in and let it out. I don't want to remember my life before mermaids. I was raised by saltwater queens, blessed by magical beings of mythic proportions, daughters of Yemeya and Gumbo, those who remind me of the beautiful resilience that lives within us. Coiled crowns adorned with cowry. These goddesses maintain the grace of a gazelle with the ever-changing tides. Mes sirens, my mermaid queens. Flowing, crashing, rising. My grandma Genevieve. Cayenne pepper royalty. Celestial matriarch, soft yet steady as a metronome in the kitchen with a laugh that could brighten any dim room. Unafraid of what is to come because her certainty is founded in love. Her setbacks created the beginning of her greatest comebacks, flowing through the roughest currents and remaining strong, flowing, crashing, rising. Mother Teresa. Calming like rosemary and gentle as gardenias, earth warrior who taught me to respect and protect the earth, to value all forms of life, holding space for her softness and her offspring, unconditionally magical, conjuring potions that transform the flu into a slight sniffle or inventing the perfect bedtime story. She grew in the midst of adversity, never allowing fear to stop her pursuit crashing against every judgment or expectation with determination, flowing, crashing, rising. Mes sirens, my mermaid queens, cousins who always reminded me that I could do anything, sisters that challenged me to seek softness in, in times of pain and trauma, to look at myself in a mirror untarnished by self-loathing. My aquatic angels, who kept me sane when all I thought I could ever be was crazy. Loving with our hearts wide open, guided by our gut feelings and our star signs. Rêveur, croyant, amant et guerrier. Dreamers, believers, lovers, and warriors. Rising above black holes of insecurities, doubt, and fear. Flowing, crashing, rising.
Thank you. Congratulations, Tango. Man, this this is this this is difficult to um, to 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 experience and then have to uh, come back uh, to the surface uh, to to bring the next uh, the next warrior on. Um, I, I really I really appreciate you, Ali, and um, and everyone who's who's shown up and where. <laughs> We're just getting started. Uh, the next, uh, the next person I want to bring up um, is 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 really, um, you know, ha has just been my big brother uh, from from day one. Uh, so so much of the way I navigate um, a poem, uh, and the way I navigate, um, you know. A street, <laughs> you know, the, you know, he just taught me how to move around this universe, and um, and and also taught me that you you don't um, you don't save <laughs> you don't save anything for the swim back to shore. Uh, so without uh, further ado, <laughs> uh, jive poetic. <laughs> Yo, congratulations, congratulations, Tango. Um, listen, if anybody has ever had a conversation with me about poetry, um, they know that I say Tango's name at least four or five times in a conversation. I don't think I've ever had a conversation and not mentioned his brother. He's He's been a, a good friend of mine for years and he's been one of my favorite poets. He still is. And uh, congratulations, brother, well-deserved. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this piece and uh, and that's it. Um this is a warning from the bottom of a slave ship to all the indigenous people. Um yeah, that's it. That's the intro, that's the whole intro. Arawak woman. My fear is this warning may never reach from my throat to the alarm of your intuition for we share no language to express the danger your people face. They are not safe. They will be ripped limbless. Their blood will run to stain you fearful, stain you motionless as the armadas come, soiled in deception, soiled in the stink of self-righteous, they will move, pulpit murder on breath, Vatican permission slipped in sales. We'll blame religion for malice and brand you savage at sword point, plant flagpole in womb, scar accent mark on vocal cord, colonized child before birth. They will find pleasure in conquest, pleasure in possession, pleasure inside you. They will take against will, suspect tea in your tears, curry in your spine, gold in your skin will break flesh to confirm, not care of your screams, care of mine, care of the villages they will burn, the dances they will condemn. Them. The customs they will smoke out of fear, mistake our models for nothing holy. They carry firearm at fingertips, smuggle us in the hull of their ship. You will not be spared. They want to slave trade you. They want to cotton field you. They want a tobacco plantation. You keep them in your skepticism. Trust the mumble of your instincts. They predator, they predator, they predator, they predator, they predator, they predator. You pray, 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 pray behind every jungle trap set, every poison dart you dip below into their path, every hex you can chant curse every spear into their chest conjure whatever deities you need to raise whatever spirits you need to run 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 until fatigue come cramp into collapse come hide until strength come pick up your feet pump your arms into flight come into broken wing crawl into broken hip crawl woman they want to latina you they want to caribbean me they want to western us into their second class nature sister we will not let them we will not be their sugar cane not be their molasses not be their rum we'll we'll machete them first We'll jump overboard first. We'll return ourselves to the sun before we ever let our sons grow into their cattle, before we ever let our daughters dry by foreign suckle. We'll resist the cross of their blood from the cross of their church to the church of they hate mistake our mothers for nothing holy disease. And rats will come, pain and shackle will come against culture of cruel. We shall be the Igbo with open warnings with the bloody on our backs. 
Thank you very much, everybody. Big up, large up, Tongo. Congratulations, family, brother, friend. Big up, Tongo. That's my favorite poem of all time. Um, the 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 next poet actually, I, uh, what 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 I, I want to introduce with what could have been, you know, an innocuous anecdote, but changed the course of my life. Uh, when I got to New York as a kid, um, I had a part. I had a partner in crime. Uh, another young poet and uh, he was the first cat that took me down to the New Eurekan Poets Cafe where I would you know receive this you know more than an education just you know participate in this lineage um, one of the most beautiful poetry lineages um, ever facilitated um, and, and so you know I without you know w w without bouncing off of uh, of this new twin you know i i, I would not have had um I, I wouldn't have had the the relationship to craft that i would grow into and so it's a you know it's 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 an interestingly small thing um that completely changed the course of my life so I, i'm i'm really um excited and honored to be able to 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 introduce um anthony morales yeah uh, my brother peace and blessing uh to everybody who's here um congratulations congratulations um big up to the city of san francisco for <laughs> you're ready i mean biggest and most liberating and free and poet I know. So, I mean, big bro, I mean, this is just the culmination of <laughs> that journey when we was uh, just running down to 236 East Third Street between Avenues B and C and trying to just, you know, shake them bricks up. And um, we still doing it. So peace and love to everybody. And here we are. So uh, from my son who gave me this poem, Beyond, beyond. Did you know at the center of every galaxy is a massive black hole and no one can survive in that middle? There's no gravity or light or love or whatever you need to survive. The limits of death is called event horizon. Now on the other side to escape, you have to run faster than the speed of light. And although scientists say that's impossible, didn't God create heavens and hell and everything in between? So then if you are ever trapped, no, do not. Because all you have to do is close eyes and expand at the speed of the universe stretching further than we can imagine. Cool, huh? What about when two black holes collide and what you hear in the vacuum sounds like a chirp? And listen right now, Poppy. How many birds are singing all at once together as those two black holes smash and signal shooting stars sweep across the universe, colliding results in a brand new galaxy and what? How many galaxies? Funny you ask. There's about 100 billion, then why does dance our own Milky Way has maybe 400 billion stars and 200 billion planets, but that's nothing compared to IC1101. That galaxy has 100 trillion estrellas that you can wish upon. A light year is not that close, six trillion miles away for us to walk there or even hop on the next space shuttle leaving that town would take about 37 thousand two hundred years leaving off a century or round up a decade did you get all the astronomy this is why i love looking up at the stars be careful when lost find that north guide with divine direction so then stare at my constellation glow in the dark stickers on my ceiling i invent a rocket that gives infinite life on our quest to reach the unknown while we float one of these days 
we will arrive and how powerful we pray to brand new planet to breathe and notice the breeze which way does the wind push the next step and how is the earth like your idea of a rubber band let's see if we can pull as fast as we can within this room in this house on this block in this hood in this city or state or country as small as grain of sand in the beach and spectrum of any cloud and then beyond don't worry so much enjoy all the moments be excited you are alive if not then no point in your resistance to gravitational force let all that air rise not drown and maybe the answer to astral projection is the quantum leap of confidence in the dark matter existing whether you believe or not did you get all that knowledge you needed to know just in case a spaceship break the bad luck attached to your dome fascinating we are so far from the edge of outer space but when we look up at those stars the twinkle is in our hearts anywhere in the cosmos we are already home beyond beyond thank you congrats big bro thanks y'all right on right on so the next uh, next person I'm I'm bringing up is is not does not have a, a poem for you in the traditional sense, um, but he he makes he he makes music with his work and, and with his you know and with the reality the realities he holds nothing back from. Um, he, you know, here's a cat. This, this is really when, when I think of San Francisco's finest, uh, that's, that's, uh, here, here comes your dictionary picture, right? Uh, he, he must have, uh, he must have found the 25th hour in the day and the, and the eighth uh, day of the week, because he, you know, he, he puts in the work of a hundred people in, in, in San Francisco and for the whole village. You'll find them with the youth, you'll find them with the elders and everybody in between. Um, really, he's, he, he's, who, he, he's who revolutions are made of. So uh, please give us, give, us a, give us a good word, brother. Uh, Uncle Damien. My people, my people, my beautiful, people. Tango, can you hear me good? I got you. I got you. Okay. I want to make sure you hear me, man, because it's real important for the people on this platform to hear what I'm about to say. First of all, it is my honor to even be in the same anything as the amazing, talented, galactical individuals that I've heard um, this evening. It is my honor, pleasure to be with you all. Let me say that. My name is Damian Posey. I'm affectionately known in the community as Uncle Damian, the people's champ. That's not a name I gave myself. That's a name that the people gave me. I actually won an award out of Chicago from the Breakout Foundation um, for my work in the community. Now, l let me say, uh, you know, some people like to call me a role model, but I'm not a role model. I'm a real model. Like Tango said, man, you know, I like to think, I, I never heard it like that, man. The, the, the picture dictionary definition of San Francisco, man, but my heart is here. I was born and raised here at General Hospital um, by way of uh, Bayview, Double Rock, you know what I mean? Uh, to Phil Mode, Blinchard Gardens, Patrol Hill. I've been all over, you know. Um, uh, but my, my story didn't start, uh, you know, uh, picket fence or none of that. Y'all know how it is in the city, man. No father, single mother had me. She was 16 years old. Then she had my sister. She was 18. So I was a man at the house at a young age, and I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes because of, you know, lack of guidance, lack of leadership, and to keep it real, because I'm loving, I'm loving this chat right here, man, because of systemic racism and, you know, lack of leadership and stuff of that nature, a lack of individuals like our poet, like my guy, Tongo, you know what I mean? If I would have been able to hear those type of words when I was a young person, I know for a fact that my life may have taken a different route now. Uh, I feel like God sent me through the journey that I went through so that I could be here where I am, but I know there's a lot of young people who don't need to go through that. 
the five shots I took. I've been shot five times. I did 10 years in prison. I changed my life and I came back, man, to get back to my city to show them what resilience really looks like. But not to show them, to remind them. Because the people are already resilient. We already know that. And I spoke on the young people because I had the pleasure of bringing the man that we're honoring today to this place. Let me show y'all real quick. Because I'm in this place, you know what I mean? Y'all bear with me. Because I just came up out of there. He knows. You see that over there across the street? Let me get my finger right. Juvenile Hall. God is center. I just came up out of there. Uh, I helped to facilitate a boys group every Wednesday. Um, uh, we just getting back because of COVID. They kicked us out for a year, but we kept fighting. We not giving up. I mean, before COVID, I had the pleasure of bringing this young man in to speak to the young people. And let me tell you for real, and I'm not saying that you should be on this. I don't know how many times young people I've seen in the juvenile hall and on the street have asked me about our poet. And I say our poet, you know what I mean? Because he belongs to all of us now. They didn't make him, you know, you got him heavy as the head that wears the crown. You know what I mean? Not that he, he asked for it per se, but it was bestowed upon him just like the title of People's Champ was bestowed upon me. And I'm so grateful, so honored to have you as one of my friends, one of my associates, someone that I can call on. Someone that I can call on when I need a good word. Someone that I can call on when I say, you know what? I got some young people that want to be poets. I need you to talk to them. I need you to mentor them. You know what Tongo says to me? No problem. Very busy man. A lot of responsibilities. Some, you know, in some circles, a superstar. Definitely in my circle, he's a superstar. But not for one second has he ever hesitated, ever hesitated to get back to the community. Always reaching out to me. What you need? What can I do? Um, let me know. Man, this stuff is going on. I see it. What can I do? I see you out there. What can I do? And that's the humbling part about it. The people who are praised who steal, because I always ask, man, what can I do? What can I do for the people? Don't, you know what I mean? Titles and what I've done and what I'm doing. No, there's always something to do. There's always more that needs to be done because we live in a society who does not champion poets like you guys on here. And we need more of that. All of these should be on the radio, just like they got the baby and all of them other people. God bless them. That's their poetry. But we need this too, though, because I know a lot of young people look to you guys and see that. We also were together at um, Philip Burton, and he did his thing, tore it down. And let me tell you, as a speaker and someone who works with youth, and you guys should know, just from living life, it is very, very, very hard to get young people to shut up and listen. Shut up and listen. And he has no problem doing that. And that's a very rare skill. That is a very rare skill, man, that our brother has. And I'm so excited for him. And I'm so I'm so happy for you, man. And I'm glad that you are getting this shine. And I'm glad because, you know, you, you know how it is when somebody from the home team win, like a real one, you know he done been grinding his heart is really for the people. And he with the people and he win. Like, you know, your next door neighbor win the lottery or something like that. You be happy for them. You be hoping you get some money too, but you be happy for them because you know they're close to you. It could happen to you, and greatness is around you. And greatness is around us. Greatness is around us. And his name is Tongo, man. And I'm once again, man. Congratulations, congratulations, and thank you so much for having me on this. You know what I mean? Because you know I do my thing. I've been blessed to traveling around the world to speak. You know, uh, I'm, I'm with Eric Thomas and Association, man, the biggest motivational speaker in the world. But this platform right here, with you amazing poets and speakers, is beyond almost anything that I've ever experienced. The stuff that I'm hearing, you know what I'm saying, from all of you guys, I just came out of there. Like, I just came out of there with young people who are fighting for their lives. Like, this is, this is not no joke. I don't want to get too deep. This is all a celebratory for Tongo. But he brought me on here and he told me to keep it real because I'm in these streets every day. You feel me? I fed three communities today. Y'all might have seen me teamed up with Mobilized Love. Y'all can check me out, Us For Us, all that. No plug, but y'all can check us out, Us For Us, that Bay Area, and see what we are about. See what Tongo supports. Drops me off stuff. 
taps in with me all the time about what's going on in the community because I'm out here. I'm out here for you guys and with you guys. If you guys need anything, y'all tap in with me. Y'all tap in with Tongo. And Tongo, you know you're my brother. And you know, as soon as I get the okay, I need you back up in the juvenile hall because we got a group of new individuals who need to hear you. We need to hear the way that you put it. Because I'll be talking. And I could, I'll take up this whole hour. You know what I mean? I get comfortable and we can talk this real talk about what's going on in these streets with these police, this black on black violence. This Asian hate, all of that. I'm in the middle of all of it because that's what, you know, the mission God put for me, you know what I mean? Had me go through my journey for that. But there's some young people in there who need to hear you guys, who need to hear Tongo in here and out here on these streets in the community. So please, I encourage each and every one of you, I encourage each and every one of you stick with your talent. Please, please keep pushing that love. Keep, Please keep pushing that truth. The way you do it, the way that you do it, the unique way that each and every one of you guys do it, please do not stop with that talent. Please do not stop with that talent, man. I appreciate you, and I love you. Congratulations, Tongo. We're going to do some amazing things in the community for the people and with the people, man. If there's anything I could ever do to support you, you already know what's up with me, man. Peace and love. Let's go. That's right. Yeah. Thank thank you. Thank thank you, brother. Much love. <laughs> and I will see you in the trenches shortly. <laughs> you, did, you already know. Um it, the the next the the next person I want to bring up, man, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know how how else to put it uh besides, you know, she really saved my life, you know. When, when I got back to San Francisco, got back to the Bay Area, you know, in, in, a, in a way, I started over in all um, categories of, of, of existence. And uh, she, she was right there with me, second one, <laughs> um, you know, just, covering my uh covering my back um nurturing my imagination and um and keeping us rolling because uh she is the uh you know she she's also the she's also the funniest person i know but a, a genius um and a in a in a real um warrior of the world uh she she's been everywhere putting it down so please uh give it up for joyce lee uh, <laughs> thank you tongo um that was a, i'm i'm just i'm speechless um with just everything happening tonight and um you know, I believe it's all just the beginning. So, you know, um, this is all just the beginning for you. I'm super proud. I'm going to read y'all a few things I'm working on. Um, and uh, yeah, I won't stop to explain it. When soul music still had souls to snatch. When lit was simple Saturday night with friends and records before Google. I dreamt of fulfillment in small neighborhood, big family. The only thing missing about old Oakland is the South. I watched struggle love, struggle black, struggle and poor and learned love there and struggle. Nothing is easy to me. Not even if the world applauds or bows at my will, easy ain't easy. When blues was still sang aloud in backyard barbecues by grandfathers amidst their haiku cackles and pistols, I ain't come up here to die afraid of the law or to die at all. When love slurred its allegiance to me with my grandfather's eyes, so sincere, sunken so, as if seeing someone sinking aside a slave ship a salty sea and suture love has always been. You should listen to me. You should believe me. 
I am a black woman. You cannot imagine dreaming from this angle the way I want, I deserve. On bended knee, praising apologies, since the day before I created myself a secret swimming from my daddy's pleasure, my granny already paid the world's entire debt. Bless me to be the one to bring the world the bill. I have rested a bit on the cotton pit. Enjoyed the cigars, whiskey, until after drunk, fat, and busting you the bill. Numerous nights I learned patience and pig fat. Salving bloodied white meat, vertebrae thrashed, gaping with the sick pleasures of others, the hot piss of the church, the tar and feather of this regime, men of all hues trying to shove themselves inside of the moribund gashes in my back, saying my skin beg for the extra slits. Otherwise, why else would it rip so melodically for their pre-exonerated invasions? Many miles endured a parched endurance so long at love's feet in hopes to prove I too am most worthy at love's side, I deserve to bathe in sensual tears. To be loved without being conquered, to be held while strong, bended knee until bloodied if need be, heart ripped from one's own rib cage in hand, septum and full signum cruces before kissed and someone bowing or dying in allegiance to me, I deserve sacrifice. Every sway must wink and not in this tell all and not yell in this tell all body where I am not lovely to most or myself. As I shimmy an elf in revolt, imagine I am white headed. Dancing burlesque is teaching me every old dirty trick how my beautiful black be injected in minstrel, how blackface is still America's pornographic rage against nobility. Black ain't never been no pretty lady. Black just beautiful, ugly, enough to sex, rape, desire, possessing in secret. Black is violent, invisible offense, close your eyes. Turn your head, I am vulgar, dripping wet and pure, clapping everything except my hands, permitting myself to ignore your idea of black, our idea of beautiful, throw me money or cotton while I show you the broad back both came from, the cellulite thighs your grandfather cursed in pride, the lips your sister paid for and then applause or not. I dance to learn myself naked. Congo, I love you. I love you. I love everybody on here. Thank you so much. Right on. And uh, again, uh, you all, you, you all, uh, y'all know how uh, uh, both beautiful and difficult. Um, it, it, it is to not just be, well, I just want to be quiet um, and, and, and just sit with the power of, of, of everybody. But that, so, so forgive my, forgive my stuttering. Um, the next person uh, now has, has been uh, with, with me since the cradle. Um, literally uh well first i should i should say uh shout out to our mother <laughs> you know for uh who 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 brought us into this uh brought us into this world um you know in in, in all in, in all categories uh brought us into this world you know physiologically but Politically, spiritually, um, you know, you're really just uh, you're just looking at, at an extension of, of really of her love. Um, but now, my 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 brother uh, uh, Biko Eyes and Martin, I would lit, like there's no there's there there is not one. There is not one second of, of, of me with without him. There's not one grain of, of, of anything that I that I am uh, w w w without him. Um, you know, 
uh, I'm the most uh, blessed human being in the world um, to have, you know, to have this, 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 uh, this water, <laughs> this water walker of a brother um, with, with me. Um, just uh yeah there's uh, it, uh, there's no there's no way to there's no way to describe what what it is to to grow up with the light <laughs> you know so uh please uh, everybody um uh show love to my brother Biko Eisen Martin Tango could you uh put your face up for a second please just so I could see you somewhere. Tango, Tango told me I wasn't allowed to talk about him. And I think I understand why. Because uh, I, I wouldn't be able to say anything. <laughs> but I love you. I love you so much, and I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you um, always. And uh, you know, you know what time it is. This is just another FaceTime. It's just another call. But um, uh, man, uh, I just want to give it all to you, brother. I love you so much, and and I thank you for everything that you've done, that you're doing, that you will do. Um, to all the panelists. You know, I want to thank Anthony for, for being his brother as soon as he touched down in New York. I want to thank Jive and Mahogany for, for being his family, for, for helping him grow up uh, in New York. Because um, I know he grew up out a, a lot out there. I want to thank Joyce for, for being his sister in words and just in life. Uh, I want to thank Bamu if you on there, just, you know, took us to our first poetry events, you know. Um, I got to thank all the elders on here. I think I saw Mora on here, Devore, everybody. Uh, just love everybody um, so much and uh, proud of everybody and everything that everybody is becoming. And uh, Tongo, man, you, you, you a soul survivor, man. You are the best of us. And uh, let me... Uh, <laughs> Let me think about some words so I don't get, uh, you know, caught up. As as uh, as it goes, Aikwe Arma said, "There are some of us who are rememberers. Don't let history turn you to a gold digger. Father has many mansions, but I ain't no house nigga." Many mansions, ships, and headquarters indeed. Dutch East India, Ku Klux Klan, COINTEL Pro spilling the blood of the land, the blood of my mans and them. Mansa Musa was spilling that blood too. 12,000 in fetters forced to follow him as he slave drove to Mecca. Whose ancestor is this? Whose ancestor is this? Who are you? The breaker of the floodgates. The flood, the water contaminated by the world it drowns. The child floating on his dead, bloated mother's back until he is found, healthy from breast milk, but alone. Confidence of a king, but no throne. But that was a thousand stories ago when I read stars like letters. I've taken too many words, named too many stars, changed their names again and again, like gods misplaced in the new world hovering around candles for heat, ancestors drowning in rum and tobacco, feeding them what they died over, the chocolate they never knew, cocoa up to their neck, the arc of history, a jaw with rotten teeth, a sugar fang, in constant search for new soil as we scatter from our gardens like dead flowers, potpourri for the grave site, scavenging remnants, studying the veins of dead leaves, building dead houses out of dead trees, trying to carve out a piece of what's been carved and carved over with dying dog fangs, fighting over the gold Mansa Musa dropped along his pilgrimage. Was it a pilgrimage for his slaves? or another long walk in the history of our displacement, an invitation to our bodies from all who witnessed, tracing Muhammad's steps, 
Muhammad's armies over burnt villages when we were buried ancestors, literally and figuratively in the name of their God, we buried ours. And if you didn't dig fast enough, you died before your children. Children who had no idea who to pray, who hadn't yet learned to perform your last rites. We've been stuck in a performance of another kind. What could be well with my soul? My soul a well, they kill so these waters won't rise. So the faces at the bottom stay scouring the bones and the precious metal between skeleton fingers to pay tribute to idols with their bridles still in our mother's jaws. Did we forget our bleeding mothers? Bruises on their face, teeth marks on their nipple ropes, burning the flesh around their waist. Every step they take a holy stare towards a crucifixion. Golgotha at the end of our journey, as they carry us like crosses from cavalry to Chicago, as the world mocks them in scorn. As we follow the men who have killed to control the gold, killed to write the story, pour flesh into molds. Now that the metal has run out, pour stories into children with no past to rid them of the confidence to create a future, pour their parents' ashes into the sky so they never see the stars again. I am a descendant of the slaves who marched behind Mansa Musa, dreaming of cutting his throat, who prayed at the rivers they knew would be dry soon who dreamed of me one day burning all empires to the ground. There are some of us who are rememberers. The police celebrated Chauvin's guilty verdict with a gunshot that left a 15 year old girl dead in the street. Memorializing the act of killing, pumping blood into the veins of a giant that stomps from sea to shining sea. The sun never sets on their trigger fingers. The night gives no rest to our children. I don't need to watch the news. The gunpowder in the air tells the story. The city is named after one of the most gory villains, villains to give glory to white supremacy. Columbus, Ohio, they call it. Full circle, circle, their bullets travel in time, whizzing around the planet, children falling before they can call their mothers. My little sisters and brothers, it took 400 years from Columbus's arrival for the Haitian Revolution to knock imperialists off the land where Columbus stood. It better not take us 400 years for us to revolt again, to get these killer police off a of stolen land where they murder children and go home to their children so they can grow old and kill our children again. My little brothers and sisters, I remember the first time with my brother, I was accosted by the police. I don't remember the second, the 10th or the 100th. Can't tell you how many times I had to force my pride into my stomach, face dirty on the concrete, praying I'd make it through another search. Don't get used to that hurt. Swallowing your words is like swallowing your teeth, sharpen your mind until your bite is strong enough to take back these streets. It's gonna take every one of you to turn history inside out, to alter the trajectory of Columbus's arrival, to alter the trajectory of San Francisco. No trial will bring back the Ohlone. No poem will bring back Micaiah Bryant. The black Jacobins defeated the French with self-love and machetes while they feared her with that knife. I see Azuli Danto dancing in the sky, teaching spirits how to yield the sword before forming in their mother's wombs. All wounds return as warriors. Saints no longer confuse that Christendom will never be Christ-like. Angels need the living to protect them to speak their names day and night. Another black future destroyed to keep Columbus white, to celebrate Columbus and every life white supremacy will claim to remain on the throne, leaving piles of bones on our corners for mothers to sort through because not every victim gets a news cycle, just a noose rifle while their killers parade. Meet me on the plantation, we sharpening blades. The one Makai Bryant was holding is around my neck. The one Mario Woods was holding, I'll use that to carve our names in the cliffs of Ocean Beach. They will remember the last 3% before they try to sweep us under history. Don't ask me why I'm wearing a pig's head on my head like the Ohlone war deer. If you know, you know. Either we grow or become bones. 1492 has turned into a millennium, but revolutionaries are perennial and it's time for black eyed peas. It's time for another Haitian revolution with the whole diaspora up to speed. Put some revolutionary news in the air to read until the sun sets on the giant and our babies can sleep.
Love you, Tongo. Thank you. Love you too, man. And uh, now y'all see where I get it from. Oh, really? I'm, I, I'm, I'm sitting here like, yeah, man. There's something wrong with us. <laughs> Now, uh, last, uh, 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 last because he was, um, last because he was a beginning. Um, this this cat there there was. I know the last poets. I knew Sonia Sanchez. I knew Gil Scott Heron, and the other, you know prophets and then i didn't know uh i didn't know the 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 modern application of of poetry um i hadn't seen it i i, I hadn't seen somebody walk on water and um and and mark by muthi joseph um brought it all the way into this room right here that I, that I'm that I'm speaking from um taught uh my brother and myself um how the imagination or your imagination is for lack of a better word to be imposed, to 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 be um, to 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 be a crystal that everybody else can walk around in, um, in a in a in a in a way that I I, ne I never saw um, art facilitated because we didn't know until we met him that art is to be facilitated spiritually. Art is to be facilitated from the, the deepest, um, the deepest parts of, of your, of your spirit. Um, so close, closing us out, um, please, uh, please show love to Mark Bamukti Joseph. What's up, fam? Okay, first of all, I'm like everybody else. I can't believe what's going on. I can't believe what's happening. I just can't believe what's happening. Second, I was laughing earlier at Mahogany Brown because she had to perform after Tonga. And I was like, <laughs> but now I got to do something after Bika. And like, thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Um, third, I want to say that Tongo Eisen Martin just might be uh, the greatest poet of our generation, and that's really good. But he is a very, very good man, and that's probably more important. And he is a great man that's a product of... Uh, excellent woman. I just want to say Arlene Eisen, I'm grateful to you. I love you. And uh, thank you for your sons. <sighs> okay. Uh, so uh, these are two poems. Uh, I, I just I, I was just remembering what it was like in the beginning. So these are kind of two poems that remind me of the beginning. I love you, Tongo. I'm a Gil Scott craving and I'm starving. 19 degrees in the Sugar Hill shade. I got the heart sweats. 
first minute post midnight vice breath burst staccato from my tar scarred chest each exhale a regret a re morse code evaporating like a gravestone cold in the juju heat i'm a hailstorm chilled hate frozen in the shape of a needle mark trying to heal my broken heart a junkie walking through the twilight waving high to the noon in delirium all my salutations sound like eulogies to the future in memoriam temperature climbing this is the high life and i'm falling i poem my addictions i rhyme these tracks i god my wishes i scrawl i black i barren i Crawl. I'm calling collect from tomorrow. I'm broke, thanks. Wondering if you'll buy back this backpack of sorrow. Can I trade it for some snack? I got a needle filled with black boy promise you can borrow if you can stomach the fucked up ways it makes you act, all the fucked up things it makes you say. All of our healers have been killed or betrayed and ain't nobody fighting because nobody knows what to save. Wait, wait, wait. I am so lonely in the ever-changing sameness of this high, a piece of a dream looking for a place to sleep in the speech of a wasted man. Lord, have you ever tried to turn your sick soul inside out? I am craving, and in my starving, I have nowhere to turn but Gil Scott's mouth, millennial whispers, apocalyptic shouts, Harlem West, Riverside, Gil Scott Heron on my mind. I think how we all just watched him die so culturally immune to our own slow long suicide so ashamed of our inability to rehabilitate him so germane to a culture of disposable and numb i ask a junkie about environment he speaks to me of gil scott of winter in new york of the birth of hip-hop of active neglect of knowing that what you're doing is killing the body it's unsustainable placing limits on your own future but so fucking turned on by death so turned on you lay your head on its chest i can feel the city breathing chest heaving in the beginning there is death a spirit sheds and becomes light. After life, after glow. All love, that was wonderful, really, but chapter closed. There will be mourning among the still human clothed souls. The rest will experience an orgy of the infinite after death. When life begins to function in poly dimension, we die to become love in every direction. The appetite for something more adventurous than a straight line. Time is running a race and space is losing. The infinite balanced on whisper thin string, strung loose minutes, marionette like strange fruit. The puppeteer is paradox pulling tight like light being sucked into a fat, black Pandora's box. Life bends at the knees, begs death to hold off, please. But when life succumbs, it's like when the wave learns that it is the ocean, when the ray of light decides to leave the sun. The pre-dawn first blush of the not yet morning when the night and the day are one, all one, not the moment of death, the moment after when angel's wings ascend her from the fall of a gun blast, pick him up before his body breathes its last. The spirit detaches before the fall and the spirit becomes one with all there. Unified theory, like the union of orgasmic bodies traveling in something infinitely more sensitive than flesh. Life is death as a vision as a lived permission, inception of an intuition of what to cosmically expect. Life is just a set of lips to whisper, born to kiss our names back to the wind so our spirit might hear it and vibrate a mitzvah, incarnate and back again. Reciprocal energy, spirit and flesh, time and space are running a race 
to the infinite. And in just a minute, time is going to run out of space, in which case both time and space will cease these words rolling off my tongue. The first breath of after death in my lungs. After life, I just go back to where I came from. After glow, light, and smoke, man. I've been running for a high like this all my natural born life. Thank you for including me, Tongo. I love you, brother. She love, love you. And love, um, man. Love, love my whole family here. Uh, both on this side, that side, all sides. Um, that's all, folks. <laughs> uh, um, uh, from from uh, from from me and mine to Man, you. Hold on, hold on. Drop a thousand hearts in the comments for Tongo. <laughs> Drop a thousand fire. All of that. I appreciate you all. The riv the chat river is on fire tonight, friends. And Tongo, we want to thank you so much. And we want to thank everyone else for joining us for this collective inaugural address. Amazing. Um, everyone was just amazing and powerful tonight. We want to thank our partners, the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library, City Lights Books, Litquake for their support in this event. And you can rewatch this event and these amazing poets on our YouTube channel. And Tongo will be back with us many times, but really soon next week, the 28th, in conversation with Hanif Abdurkweep for his new book, um, A Little Devil in America, a celebration of Black performance, cultures, and communities in the United States. And that's a partnership with Moab. So please join us then. And I wish we could all unmute a ten, uh, panelist. You can definitely all unmute and give the love. And the love is flowing. <laughs> big up, big up, big up, big up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, bro. Right. Um,